Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from higher ground on Ladies Island. I'm joined this afternoon by Bill Love. How are you, Bill? I'm doing well, thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're here to talk about the Beaufort County Department of Special Needs this afternoon. There may be some viewers out there who are watching the show or who are not familiar with your organization or the services, so could you give us a little bit of background and the mission of a DSN? Uh, absolutely. F first of all, thank you very much for, for having me. Um, what we do is we provide services for individuals with disability. Our, our mission is to provide quality services and resources for individuals with disability to facilitate opportunities for them to live productively and inclusively in the community. So this is an opportunity to give a voice um, to, to individuals who can't speak, uh, legs for individuals who can't walk, mm -hmm. and that type of thing. So I appreciate the opportunity to talk about it. We have an array of services that I'd like to share with you and talk to you Absolutely. about. Absolutely. So first of all, let's just sort of talk about the scope of sure. the services. Um, are there services offered or available to everybody who's a Beaufort County resident? Abs absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have a, a, a county council and a government agency here that support individuals with disability. Uh, we provide services for individuals from Bluffton, Hilton Head, to Fripp Island and everywhere in between. And um, Yes, so everyone's eligible. Good thing to know. So obviously you've got some challenges as an organization. Um, what do you guys want the public to know about um, your organization and how they might be able to help you with some of those challenges? Well, pro probably one of the things that's most, what, what we'd like for people to know is that we exist. We provide services. Uh, anyone living in Beaufort County has the right to, to receive services from DSN. It is, uh, we're a county agency, mm -hmm. and um, we, we feel very strongly about making sure that people be aware of the services we provide. And um, so we would not want anybody to be in Beaufort County and not be aware of the services, especially if they have loved ones mm. or family member with a disability. With a, with a disability, right. I mean, this is some information that I'm learning myself, so ah, okay. um, it's always good when you get to spend time working in the community, um, being able to share when you go to networking events exactly. about what services exactly. are available. Um, so share with us um, about some of your, about your professional career and, and how you wound up to be here in Beaufort, in Beaufort and running County. this organization. Well, I, number one, I'm <laughs> fortunate to be here. I, I, I like I tease people by telling them that uh, uh, I came here after 30 years of being in a prison. Oh. Um, I, what I did was I was a, uh, a deputy secretary for the Department of Correction in Pennsylvania okay. under Governor Tom Ridge. Moved to North Carolina after I retired from there and started a business providing services for individuals with disabilities. I'm a licensed therapist and uh, so I did that for a number of years. I came to Beaufort County and was fortunate enough to uh, find a similar kind of job. So that's what it, that's the reason why I'm here and, and uh, it worked, it's working very well. Excellent, that's great. How does DSN serve the different age groups with individual disabilities? Because if you could talk about anybody from having, you know, youngsters who are born with birth sure, defects and have sure, disabilities sure. to an aging population sure. and a veteran population um, who all may be in need of different types of absolutely, services. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, at our, front, at our front door is our case managers. We have a wonderful group of case managers and what they do is they begin to identify services needs for individuals and, and if they're eligible for services then we put them in the process so that they can start receiving services. Uh, if, if a young person, if a, uh, a, a child is born with a disability, we'll get calls from, from families and also from the pediatrician and that type of thing telling us that uh, that uh, child has a disability. So there's a referral process. It's a referral process and they're EIs, they're early interventionists, a uh, special place in my heart for this population. And then we also have school age individuals. Mm -hmm. Once they hit five or six years old, then the school takes over some of the responsibilities of providing services for individuals with disability. If they're 21 or older, then DSM will pick in and provide, start providing services. We provide services for individuals from 21 to 70. Mm -hmm. But as our population age, their needs are different. Uh, we have individuals who are looking for jobs. And so what we do is we work very hard with some local businesses in the area to help them find jobs. And then as they age, we look for um, places for them to live safely in the community. Mm -hmm. If there's some medical issues that we need to provide for, we do that as well. Great. So I'm sure that you've got relationships with other agencies and organizations and you partner um, in order to Absolutely. make all of this happen, you know, Absolutely. because it takes, as they say, it does take a village. Absolutely. It does. Absolutely. We, we work with the medical department, like I said, with pediatricians, with local medical uh, uh, professions, um, the air station, pro uh, provide mm -hmm. employment for our 
for our consumers, uh, local libraries, some of the, some of the other mm -hmm. county agencies, uh, local community stores. We pr they provide services and job opportunities for my population. Um, you certainly have all the bases covered we without do, a doubt. We do. We do. Well, our, our time together has, has, is wrapping up, but we're so glad that you came um, to be a guest this afternoon Thank you very North much of the Broad for and me. you could share all this information. We'll make sure we have your phone number listed on the screen during our interview so if people um, have someone that they need, know, maybe qualify for some of Absolutely. your services, they can reach out to you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much, much for Thank being you. a guest. We'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.